fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. We're bringing you more interviews, more videos, and more product reviews than anyone else on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Gary Leland. I produce the Fast Pitch TV show, which is located on the web at www.fastpitch.tv. It's a once a week video show about fast pitch softball and nothing but fast pitch softball. If you've never seen it before, you really need to check it out. Now, if you're watching this video, that means one thing. That means you've purchased a windmill trainer and now you're watching the free video that comes with it to learn a little bit more about how to properly use it. Now I'm here to introduce you to one of the top, if not the top, pitching coach in the country for fast pitch softball. He's a coach that actually grew up playing fast pitch softball. Not someone who just watched it and figured it out. He actually played softball and knows what the girls are going through. And he's played all over the world for over 20 years. He's played for Team USA, for New Zealand, and, and a ton of other th teams. His name, you may have heard of him, is Bill Hillhouse. And instead of telling you any more about his history and how great he is, uh, I would recommend you go to his website at houseofpitching.com and, and see his bio for yourself. You'll be pretty impressed. You may want to look at his videos he has for sale, too. He has some great stuff on his site there. Now, from what I understand, it's a great training video. I haven't seen it myself, but I hear it's great. And it's available on his website, like I said. So now, let's let Bill explain how to use the windmill trainer. On a day-to-day -day basis, one of the most common things I get asked for as a pitching instructor is about the products and merchandise and training aids that are on the market today which ones have value, which ones are a waste of time. Probably the most important training aid that a pitcher can use is the windmill trainer. Sometimes also it's known as the perfect circle. The windmill trainer provides not only a training aid to help develop pitching mechanics, but also to help fix problems that have arisen in pitching mechanics. And the best part about it is that a pitcher can use this in the privacy of their own room, practicing in front of a mirror without disturbing or the need of having to use a catcher or somebody else. They can work with the windmill trainer or the perfect circle on their own every single day and really train their muscle memory in the appropriate way that a pitcher needs it to be trained. What we do is we take the perfect circle or the windmill trainer and we put it right on the center of our thigh of the push-off leg. Right-handed pitcher would mean that the right leg is the push-off. Left-handed pitcher would mean that the left leg is the push-off leg. Putting the flag in the center of the thigh is what, ex is what we want to do because we want the pitcher to develop muscle memory of the hand going through the hips, not around the hips. Going around the hips is one of the most common problems that young pitchers face today and it happens for one of two reasons. Either they turn their hips too fast, closing at the same time as they're bringing the ball through, or they've left a gap between their arm and their body and they don't have their arm coming through the hips. So, putting the windmill trainer on the right leg of the right-handed pitcher and she steps through practicing in front of a mirror so that she can see it for herself, she'll be able to see the target to hit with in front of her body as the hand comes through. If she misses the flag, it means she did one of two things wrong. She either had a gap between her arm and her body or turned the hips too fast. Either way, practicing it in a mirror will give her real time visual as to what she's done wrong and it also provides a target for her to hit to fix the mechanical problems. So to recap, we take the windmill trainer and put it on the center of our thigh of our push off leg and we want to make sure that she pitches in front of a mirror so she can see it. It's a good device to have to pitch with while she's practicing but we don't want her getting in a habit of looking down to see if she hit the flag. If she's looking at herself in a mirror, she gets instant feedback 
and sees the target in which she's trying to hit as the hand comes through the hips, not around the hips. I hope you find the windmill trainer to be a great pitching tool. Bill and I both think it is, and I think you'll find it is too. Before I go, I'm going to tell you, I want to leave you with a short message, which is a gift from softballjunk.com, and thanks for buying the windmill trainer. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket.